If you're an adventure rider looking for wet weather gear, this stuff right here has the features and benefits of gear five times its price while maintaining quality. So today we're gonna go test it out on a ride. I'm Patty Rick and this is Moto Gear Show. And I got T-Rex arms. <laughs> All right, guys, this is our new show, but before we get started, I've got a quick disclaimer for you. All the companies you see on Moto Gear Show do send us the gear and the products that they make for us to review. They do not pay us to review those products, and they certainly do not get to see our opinions before it goes live to YouTube direct to you guys. If you guys do want to support us, hop down to the description below, check out the affiliate links. It's a great way to support the channel, support us in our endeavor to bring you the best gear review show on the internet. What I'm wearing today is the Sedici Garda WP or waterproof jacket and pant combo. It is an adventure sport touring style setup that is meant to keep you both warm and dry through all four seasons. Some of the key features for me are the full mesh airflow lining, the YKK waterproof zippers, as well as the hydration pack on the back. That being said, if you wanted to learn everything there is to know about this jacket, here's the list. One of the key things I look up when researching gear is fitment. I'm a big fella. You guys know that. You've seen me in plenty of other videos. And this Sedici gear fits surprisingly well. Now, that being said, I did have to size up quite a good bit, but their measuring chart on their website worked extremely well. All right, guys, before we go jump on the bike, let's talk about price because it is a huge deal. At $249.99 for the jacket and $219.99 for the pants, it's an extremely good value at a total of $470. All right, guys, I've put about 90 days of testing and around about 2,000 miles, so I feel like I've got a really good idea of the intricacies of this gear. So let's go hop on the bike and I'll tell you all about it. All right, guys, so that was all the technical and statistical information about this sub $500 jacket and pant combo. And I am now on my morning commute. So technically you guys are time traveling because I'm filming this the morning of the intro. It's weird. Anyway, we are about to jump on the freeway make sure my visor's closed jacket is zipped up as far as i want it to be all my vents are closed they are it is uh let's see 42 degrees outside today give or take my uh ambient air temperature sensor on the bike is acclimated to the inside of my garage that's why it's reading 50 something it is about 42 degrees outside and let's talk about this jacket so obviously we just talked about fit we talked about what the materials are made out of we talked about the styling choices of it here's my personal opinions on the Sedici Garda H2O jacket so let's start off with the materials as I feel them instead of just talking about the numbers behind them so 600 denier chest material anything that's this cool tan color 1200 denier on anything that is black on the outer edges so the elbows shoulders things like that the black on the inside is a stretch material S same material as the tan but just for coloration's sake they change it up a little bit but it is a kind of like a meshy stretchy material it is really nice it's very comfortable to wear it does not flow air or water through it that is something to keep in mind, although they call it like a, a mesh material, it is. Yeah, they call this the full mesh airflow lining. You know, it does a really good job of moving air within the jacket, and that's where that name comes from. It does not necessarily mean air is flowing through the jacket. If it was flowing through the jacket, that means water could go flow through the jacket, and that is not the case. This is a waterproof jacket. So this airflow mesh lining, you can see it's kind of puffed up on my chest a little bit here. Even with all the vents closed, I do still get a little bit of wind up my wrist. I don't have those wrist vents closed all the way. I do like a little bit of airflow just to make sure I'm not getting, I don't get too hot on the way to work. I, I personally would be a, rather be a hair too cold than a hair too hot. So I keep those wrist vents pretty loose, all things said and done. I do love the coloration. You know, they have this great reflective material kind of baked into this mesh lining that does give you like a silhouette shape at night. I rode, obviously with the sun going down super early, I did get a chance to uh, 
ride this jacket at night quite a good bit this winter so it's been nice so let's talk about comfortability so this jacket is very very comfortable and the big thing about that comfort is all the adjustability so we've got wrist straps forearm bicep waist and hip adjustment straps all over this jacket which is great you do have a velcro little guy up here at the very top we'll talk about that here in a little bit and you do have neoprene around the wrists as well as around the neck so it's kind of a nice soft touch material it's not going to chafe or kind of scratch at you anywhere where it comes direct in contact with your skin so that is quite nice the comfortability on this jacket is really good so let's talk about how easy the pockets are to get to so these front chest pockets obviously waterproof velcro with the flap on top really easy to get to while you're riding the one in the back is about as easy to get to while you're riding as it is while you're standing it's kind of difficult but that's for me is an as a pocket that i'm not going to access while i'm riding i'm going to access when i'm stopped and i really need to dig something out of there or i've got a buddy that can help me pull something out of there when we stop i'm really not going to be digging around in those pockets very often speaking of pockets there is one just inside on the upper part of this jacket i'm not going to open it because it's cold out but that pocket is also very easy to get to while you're riding really really nice and again with the hydration bladder in the back it is quite easy to uh to get to the the little line depending on where you run it there's some people kind of run it on the outside of the jacket i typically run it like inside my helmet almost i've got like a way to kind of i use gaff tape to keep it inside the helmet when i'm riding so that it's easy for me to get to and I'm, it's not flapping around it's beating my neck up and the comfortability kind of flows directly into the vents right so it's got two large chest vents here as we talked about earlier you've got forearm vents and the ones on the back and as we talked about they do they are waterproof ykk style zippers which is fantastic they work extremely well i've got them all closed right now and it's keeping my upper body very warm so let's talk about things that i really like about this jacket so things i like about this jacket again is going to be the comfortability it's a very comfortable jacket it is waterproof i have ridden in torrential downpours and it has done a really great job to keep me dry for the most part i will say there is no jacket out there that is 100 percent truly waterproof but this is just about as close as it's gonna get, especially for this price point. But I love the adjustability, I love the zippers on it, the fact that they're full waterproof and they work, which is really nice. There are some other brands out there that the YKK zippers don't tend to work particularly well, or um, because of the material, it'll kind of come unglued or unsecured from the rest of the jacket, and then you're gonna have a leak there. I've washed this jacket a couple of times, usually by hand with soap water and a small sponge, um, but I have machine washed it once just to see what would happen and it held up extremely well so no big deal there um, And the last and final thing that I really really love about this jacket and it's technically this jacket and pant combo is that zipper on the back So I love the little zippers that connect the pants to the jacket the jacket to the pants Because god forbid you do go down the odds that the bottom of your jacket will try to flip up and expose your back are very high Ask me how I know so having that zipper there to help keep those together is extremely extremely helpful i recommend it to everybody it's definitely the move now let's talk about things that i don't really like about this jacket so number one thing biggest thing i'm a big guy we know i'm a bigger guy this is a 4xl jacket it's italian cut so it's a very very small cut it's meant for small guys you know there's a lot of other brands out there that have more of an american cut to them that are much easier for me to wear i wear a 2x or a 2x tall in a lot of those jackets this guy is a 4x now i do have some chest room um because i did request that we have a little bit of room in this size just so i'm able to layer like a heated vest or any heated gear that i come across over the next couple of months as we transition back into spring and i'm planning on making a couple of trips to the mountains where it gets real cold so I wanted to have some breathing room and be able to layer really heavily under this. I do currently have my uh, climb base layer on under this jacket, which is a very low profile base layer, but I wanted to have room to put on like a big hoodie or something like that. But the neck is really, really tight. Um, I am typically an 18 and a half to an 18 three quarter neck dress shirt size, which is uncomfortable. I don't like things, I'm a big dude big dudes with beards especially we seem to really not like things touching our neck like that um, just makes me personally really uncomfortable and then there's a little velcro guy on here that i have it'll flip back on itself which is fantastic sidichi great job with that i love that i can move that out of the way because it is extremely uncomfortable 
it is kind of, you know, hook and loop or Velcro or whatever has a soft side and a spiky side. They have it set where the spiky side is what, in the event it doesn't latch properly, is what presses against your neck. And it's really, really uncomfortable. That being said, I believe that is the best way to get that Velcro to stick. So I, again, I understand that. And I'm glad that they gave me a, a way to fold it on itself and out of the way. Really big fan of that. But this, yeah, the neck hole is just not great. And then the arm holes, the adjustment at the cuffs is fine. It's nothing to write home about. It's not horrible. It's not great. It's fine. The actual adjustment strap is a nice material. It's really stiff and quite strong, I can tell. But it just seems like no matter how tight I get it, either the strap kind of doesn't line up with the rest of it correctly, or maybe it's an operator error. I really couldn't tell you, but um, I've kind of got them into a position that I like, and I just leave it there, which I think is what most, most consumers, most of you guys are going to do anyway. So not a big deal. Really, that's my gripes about the jacket. There's really not much. The cuff adjustment is kind of weird. The neck being really, really tight is uncomfortable for me, but I also understand why they did it. So it's one of those things where it's, uh, there's gotta be a compromise to ensure that the product is in fact going to be waterproof and going to be as weather resistant as possible. So it is what it is. Let's move on to these pants. So these Sedici Garda H2O waterproof pants. Love these guys. Really, really like these pants. Um, I do have a couple gripes and we'll talk about those here in a minute, but let's talk about kind of the facts. Same YKK zippers as we discussed before, the same 600 material and 1200 denier material on high impact areas. There is a little bit of leather kind of grippy material, rubberized kind of leather on the inner thigh and on the low leg so you can grip your tank really easily and you're not going to be sliding all over the place. I love the YKK zippers right there on the thigh. The th upper thigh is a great spot for a large vent like that. It does make it really comfortable. There is no lower leg vent, which honestly with these guys I don't feel like you need anyway. Speaking of the low leg, there's a really cool design on the outer part of where the knee pad goes. Now I will say these do come with the level two knee pads and I removed them from these pants. So these pants do come with the CE level two padding, which is great. And similar to the jacket in the shoulders and the elbows, you are able to move these pads to two or three different adjustments depending on what pad you're talking about. There's a high, low, and a medium. And just for me, no matter where I put the pad in these pants, um, I couldn't get it in a comfortable spot, in a spot that didn't kind of push on my knee in a way that um, got uncomfortable after half an hour or 45 minutes or so. So what I did is I just removed those pads entirely and these pants are infinitely more comfortable immediately. It's obviously not ideal. I prefer to have as much padding and protection from the road and the elements as I possibly can. But, you know, that's just kind of one of the things about these pants where it, it does fit kind of tight around the knee, especially when you've got your knee bent. Uh, there are some really nice stretch panels at the knee, at the hips, on the butt, things like that that do help with that fit. For my body type at least, it uh, did not work out particularly well for the knee pads, so I simply removed them. Um, I do like the color on these and kind of how they broke up the black and the tan. You've got black down on your legs, but tan on top of your thighs. And what that tells me is they're really thinking about when you're riding all day, even if you end up riding in somewhere warm or you transition from somewhere cold to somewhere warm, you don't have black on your thighs. So your upper legs aren't gonna get super hot and sweaty. And because the black is down on low on your leg, you're really not going to get a lot of sunlight down there for the most part, you know, at the heat, the peak of the day and things like that. So great, great thought process, I think, on that front. And frankly, the black is a little more stylistic. I like the black on the lower part of the leg. When you view this, uh, this setup from the side, it does look quite nice to have the lower part of the leg be black. I think it's a good stylistic choice. So let's talk about things I really like about the pants. And that is going to be, again, the stylistic choice, the tan on top, black on bottom. The vents on the thighs are great. I do love them. Um, and then there's kind of a, a, a like and dislike. So with these pants, I did notice that on the colder days when I'm riding, especially at speed on the freeway, my, the tops of my thighs would get rather cold. Um, and I thought that was odd and I'm looking down, I'm like, yeah, the zipper's there for the vent, but that is like closed, closed. It's not like I can feel airflow 
coming into the pants there. I think just how my bike is shaped and how kind of all my air deflector shape is, I was getting a lot of airflow over that thigh on either side and really cooling it down. So what ended up happening is I would stuff little uh, hand warmer guys, those little orange hand warmers, into these little pockets on the pants that kind of sit right on top of my thigh. And it was super comfortable on those really, really cold days, those 25, 20 degree mornings riding in. You know, those little hand warmers were absolutely fantastic. And I found out after the fact that those pockets are specifically designed for those hand warmers, which is great. I thought they fit a little too well, but Sidichi, great on you for realizing that, hey, this is a high winded area. That's why we put the vent there. But also for the guys who are trying to stay warm, let's do something to keep them warm. So you've got those little pocket hand warmer kind of situations that fit in there almost perfectly. Um, great design choice by them. And it is as listed on their site that they are for hand warmers, which is great. The high waistedness of them is really quite comfortable. I never thought I would say that. I'm not typically a high waist pants kind of guy, but for one reason or another, I find these to be really, really comfortable like that. Um, and I believe that them being really high waisted and the jacket being kind of longer is going to help to keep you warm and to keep you more waterproof. Obviously, if the jacket is going over the pant, then it helps prevent water from running into the pants. But I do really like that these pants are very high waisted and that the jacket in turn is long, both on the front and rear. I wish the jacket was a little longer on the front. That's not the end of the world. Not a huge deal, not a deal breaker at all. The length on the back definitely makes up for the lack of length on the front. And that's just how these adventure jackets are cut, so not a big deal. But let's talk about things that I don't like about these pants. The waist kind of clasp situation. It is a metal hook, a press together snap button, and a Velcro strap. Now that Velcro strap does allow for a great adjustability at the waist for sizing. And that's great, but it seems like no matter where I place these high-waisted pants at my hip, at my waist, a little higher up, a little further down, they just seem to always slide down a little bit or slide up more than I was comfortable with. Um, that may have to do mainly with my big old belly, so that's probably the issue. But it just seemed like no matter where I adjusted it, it was, wasn't going to hold its position on my body. Now that is typically why I prefer adventure pants that have suspenders, just because I can kind of set them and forget them, put them where I like it and leave it. So if there was like a way that we could get suspenders for these pants, I would love that. I think that would move these pants um, up in my rating category for sure. The last thing I really, really do not like about this pant is the leg hole at the bottom for your boot. It feels really small to me. You know, I'm, these are adventure pants. I'm wearing Forma Adventure Low boots. Here they are. They're not massive. You know, it's not like it's a full motocross boot where it's massive at the top or anything like that and comes all the way up your calf. But it's just trying to get the, you know, you put the pants on, then you put your boots on and you try to pull like the pant leg around your boot. And it just is such a struggle with these in the morning. What I end up having to do is when I take them off is I'll roll up the cuff on the bottom of the pant basically far enough to where I can get to my boot and get it undone without any issue. The problem with that is on the left pant leg is it's kind of got that like waterproof little V shape at the bottom, you know, that uh, is the kind of, I don't want to call it a stretch material, but it's where like when you undo the zipper, that's the room it has to open. So like that little V that opens a little bit. The issue with that is it just doesn't open far enough, in my opinion. It is something that I wish that they would consider maybe changing on the next iteration of these pants. Again, with the suspenders. I've ridden with this gear from anywhere from 23 degrees upwards of 80 to 85 without any issue at all. At 85, you're getting a little sweaty no matter how open your vents are. And at, you know, mid to low 20s, you're going to be cold without proper base layers, long johns, thermal shirts, things like that. But there's no motorcycle gear in the world that's going to keep you warm at that temperature that isn't super bulky or has a bunch of base layers kind of built into it. So I cannot fault this Sedici Garda kit in that regard. Given the issues I have with this jacket, I'm gonna give it a solid eight out of 10. There are a couple little things that I wanna change we just went over, but honestly, as an overall package and for a value for money, it doesn't get a whole lot better than this. Eight out of 10, there's only a couple little things I can nitpick. 
So overall for the pants, I'm giving them the same 8 out of 10. The value for money is fantastic. The ventilation's great. The heat pockets are great. A couple little gripes, things I wish I had. Not the end of the world. As a full package deal, solid 8 out of 10. All right, guys, it's been your boy Patty Rick for Chase on Two Wheels for the Moto Gear Show, the Sedici Garda H2O jacket and pant combo. It has been an absolute pleasure to bring you this content this year. All right, guys, if you haven't already, jump over to our Discord channel. Link is in the description down below. We've got about 5,200 like-minded individual motorcycle maniacs like ourselves that are over there hanging out. We do everything from AMAs, Discord only live streams are coming this year. Discord giveaways are gonna keep coming this year. It's a really cool place to be. Jump in there, make some new friends, go ride with your new friends and enjoy yourselves. Well, there you have it. Budget-friendly gear that does its job as advertised. I can definitely recommend the Sedici Garda waterproof jacket and pant combo. So if you guys are in the market for any gear, jump down to the affiliate links in the description below. It really, really helps us out if you guys shop for all your gear down there. Outro crew, drop an OC in your comment down below. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. My question for you today is, when you're shopping for adventure gear, do you do the matchy-matchy or do you like the mix and match? My name is Patty Rick for the Chase on Two Wheels channel. You guys ride safe and I'll see you on the next one. Next arms. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>